Happy Monday to you. This is Motivation Monday for June 11th, 2018. During these summer months, I'm going to do these videos a little bit differently. We're going to have a challenging or motivating thought, and then we're going to tie that into some of the things that are coming up at Bridgewood this week. So you are informed and encouraged to be active with the body. Our thought for today comes from Seth Godin, a popular author and blogger. He wrote, recently wrote about two polar opposites, staying still and breaking. In the middle ground is stretching. If you're like me, when you wake up, one of the first things that you do is you stretch. You stretch to limber up and to shake off the effects of all that stillness, all that rest on your muscles in your body. But you also limber up so that you don't break or hurt yourself during the day. We know that stretching our physical bodies compounds. It gets better and better. The more we stretch, the better it is for our bodies within reason, of course. Spiritually speaking, what are you doing to stretch yourself? We don't want to stay still. We don't want to be stagnant. We want to continue to grow and stretching is a part of that growth and stretching allows us to avoid getting hurt being broken in the tough world that we live in let's connect that to what's coming up at bridgewood summer series is a great time for all of us to stretch ourselves to learn something else our, our speaker this week is toby secting Toby is from Howe, Texas. He's been the minister there for almost 20 years. Howe is midway between McKinney and Sherman on 75. So he's going to have a, a fun time driving over to Fort Worth to speak at our summer series. His topic is truth, absolute or relative. So it's going to be an encouraging, engaging study with a topic that many of us have considered. And it's going to be a, a topic that allows us to stretch ourselves and to learn more. Let me encourage you before Wednesday to read through John chapter 17. John chapter 17, you find a prayer of Jesus in verse 17. Specifically, you find, sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. Look at the context around that verse. Look at what Jesus prayed and prepare yourself for a wonderful evening of study this coming Wednesday. Remember that at 5.30 on Wednesday, you can bring your brown bag lunch, bring something to eat, come enjoy fellowship. It's seven o'clock, of course, is when we start and there's always classes for the kiddos. So bring the whole family this Wednesday evening for our summer series with Toby Secting. A couple other things that are coming up this week. Tuesday is the start of Summer Youth Series for our families. All of our families are welcome to come join us. The first one is over at Meadowview in Mesquite. Uh, this year we're looking at some of the songs that we sing in our worship services and, and hopefully throughout your day. Uh, this first one we're going to look at is Create in Me a Clean Heart, of course from Psalms, and one of the psalms that David wrote. So we're looking forward to starting that study. The event starts at 7 over at Meadowview and Mesquite. The Bridgewood van is leaving the building at 5.30 and we'll be back at 10. Also for our families, for our kids who've signed up for a camp, remember that this coming Sunday is the day we leave for camp. Always an exciting week. Our adults and our kids that go to camp always have a great time. So please be in prayer for us as we make those final preparations and also as we head out to camp. And there's already a session out there right now. So be in prayer for those folks. Uh, who are out there enjoying Quartz Mountain Christian Camp just outside of Altus, Oklahoma. I hope that you are encouraged to stretch, to grow this week, to be a blessing to others. We recognize the importance of being a part of the body, the body that worships together, the, the, the body that celebrates together. Last night, our graduates, Jillian, Will, and Nolan, celebrated that great accomplishment at the Martin uh, High School graduation. We also grieve together, we recognize that we lost our brother Foy uh, over the weekend. We'll get that information out to you just as soon as we possibly can. I don't know how anyone survives this life without a church family, without a relationship with God. And so I hope that you're constantly stretching yourself 
to be a blessing to others, constantly stretching yourself so we don't break in this world. Go out this week, make it a great week, be a blessing to others, study your word, study John 17, and we'll see you Wednesday night for Summer Series. God bless you.